Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to the overall weekly tarot reading for July 8th to the 15th and the title of this with a special message before I even pull the tarot cards for the energy and everything else for our journey. What it's going to feel like, I got the spirit message, oh my gosh, it is let that freedom ring. So if you haven't seen my quick message that I just posted, uh, free your spirit, let freedom ring, Oh my God, it was such a powerful spirit message that came through this morning. I just posted it. It's a very short video if you haven't seen it. But that freedom, free your spirit, and that freedom will reverberate. I don't even use that word. It's going to reverberate that freedom and with this new energy. And that's what's going to be creating the new world. That's going to be creating the new cycles for us. It's this new freedom. Let that freedom ring. I can't wait to do this message. I can't wait to do this reading because the energy that's coming in, Whew. I mean, we did such tremendous healing and clearing to get to here, and it's exciting what's coming in because we're propelled to go farther. We have freed ourselves so we can go farther to the better now. All right, so this was the message, literally, let that freedom ring now. So this is the energy now. It's coming in after tremendous mind and heart healing so we don't have the usual blocks. Going forward, let that freedom ring. Go for things that matter to you now. Follow your heart, your passions. Other people will not be factoring in as much in swaying you with their opinions or judgments anymore. Nope, that has fallen away. You are clearer, more aligned with yourself. You released a lot and have settled into the new you a bit more. A healed one. It feels good. It feels better. And you are feeling more free because of it. All this clearing has empty, emptied out the crap of years. Yes, years. And now this energy will bring, to, bring you to new places and experiences that your healed self wants more of. Good times, good things, good people, and you are feeling good, good, good. You know you deserve this after everything. Everything. Yes, you do. Going forward now, knowing this energy is lasting a while. No, you know, go forward knowing that this energy is actually lasting a while and your life will look very different pretty soon because of it. And it is good, good, good. So that was the message from Spirit. So I couldn't wait to pull these cards. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's do it the opposite way. Let's first see what kind of energy we're working with. I'm so curious because this is just awesome energy that's coming in now. You know, the first week of July was more about clearing, healing, having some downtime, just allowing for some fun. Um, you might have released a lot. You might have gotten more clear on what you're going to be doing going forward. Um, it was a lot of that. More downtime, more playtime the first week of July, just kind of coming back to your own energy. And now what's coming back when you come back, woo, it's great energy. This freedom, I think we cleaned ourselves out of a lot of years, maybe crumbs of old crap that you know, like I keep saying over and over, like we're in the hamster wheel going around and around different places, people and circumstances, but the same feeling, we get stuck with the same experience almost. It's just changing the characters. And now we're getting off that wheel. We're getting out of that cage and throwing that cage to the wall. It's like we have truly let that freedom ring. Truly let that freedom ring. We are out of that hamster cage, off the wheel and out of the cage. New things new people, new circumstances, new projects, new work, new outlook on life, um, you know, and um, just amazing energy coming in now. I'm so excited. Ooh. Yeah, and you can't make this up. Angel of Balance, that's what we've created within ourselves. That's what's changing our lives right now, this difference in balance within ourselves. We've had tremendous heart healing clearing our mind of old crap, healing our hearts. This glass is holding her emotions. No matter what life throws at her, she can balance her emotions now. It's this inner strength we've developed. It's this inner knowing we've developed. See how she's almost, I never noticed that. She's illuminated and even in her crown here. Divinely linked. Um, it's just amazing. I just picked that up angel of balance there's even a moon here where we have tremendous moon energy here but this is creating such balance in our lives that's been coming up again and again so i won't go into much detail more about that because i could go on forever but the inner work knowing truly loving and accepting yourself a place of self-worth for who you are what you're doing uh, that, that takes tremendous work and it's this 
balance within ourselves that's creating this new balance, this new world order in our lives going forward. Because we're not going to be taking the same crap anymore. We know we deserve more. We know we deserve respect, honor what we truly want, who we really are. We're coming from a true place of being who we are. It's never been more time to be just you. Just you is enough. And to have that profound balance within yourself going forward with every decision you make, everything you go on going forward. Um, and this balance has almost been justice for us. It almost comes up, look at this, yep. Because this is what we've healed, our broken hearts, disappointments, past disappointments. Um, we've created this new balance to this, this new healing to this. And it's also, the twins of balance came from looking right at that crack in that heart and um, creating a new balance from that. No longer denying that. No longer um, discounting that. It's, um, it's truly healing those wounds. You can't make this up. Did I not say tremendous heart healings happening? Yep, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is all heart healing. This has been coming up over and over again. We've, the balance we've created is this tremendous healing within our hearts. I actually posted just recently, um, divine healing, divine is healing our hearts. The divine is healing our hearts. It's divine energy coming in here that is just swooping in. You see all this little divine light almost. This is like the energy flow of this divine shift in energy that has just swooped in honestly and has healed all of our hearts in different ways personally to you. But whatever cycles we're playing on, like kind of like swimming in this crack over and over and over again, getting stuck in that crack, that hurt heart over and over, those old things, it's swooping in and doing a thorough cleaning. You ever thoroughly clean your house like in the corner of the crack and get, you know, we're, look at this, and that's what's appreciating. That's what's creating, this is the new energy coming in because we created a balance, healing, truly healing divine healing of our hearts here of all the old hurts the old cycles we play and stories we play nursing these wounds over and over and over and over and over again um we've created tremendous balance and this is what's bringing the new appreciation first of all we have more appreciation for ourselves also what's growing in our lives now is because of this tremendous heart healing because when you're balanced when you've healed your heart this profound deep healing i'm talking about um you come from a healed place. You come from a healed and balanced place. So now when you're stepping forward and growing things and you're blooming again, you're standing in your full ripeness again, in your gorgeousness again in every way. And look at the divine light behind her. It's like everything in your environment is going to start reflecting soon. That's what's appreciating now. That's what's growing now in our lives, coming from a balanced, healed heart place. They kept saying to me over and over, and I'll say it again in all my videos because it actually is the best thing to remember because I didn't come from that starting point. They always say the starting point of your life should be standing in your own self-worth and then following your heart from that starting point, and that's what you want appreciating in your life. But very often we step out, we have no self-worth, we don't uh, take care of ourselves, we're not coming from a place of valuing ourselves, and moving forward in our lives from that, what do we get in our worlds? We get things that reflect our lack of honoring ourselves, our lack of standing up for ourselves, our lack of self-love. So when you come from a balanced, healed heart place, you're not gonna keep having the same relationships, whether work-wise, relationship, personal-wise, all that's gonna shift. We're getting off that cycle with a clean, clear heart, balanced, and everything is gonna appreciate going forward from that, everything. Everything, everything, everything. Like they said, let that freedom ring. We're free of this broken heart now. We've healed that. We've created the balance necessary to really, truly break free. Not just say, oh, I'm over it, but then, you know, you still have the walls of protection. You're still not forgiving or letting go, moving on. Um, stop playing the same records in your head that stops you from doing things. The same things in your heart that the barricades in your heart where you're not open to receive the good that's coming in. No, no, no. We're coming now healed, balanced. We want full appreciation for ourselves, what we're doing, our time and energy, the people we allow in our lives, things that we're going for is going to be appreciating. 
Like another message I had was door to value is opening. The door to value to ourselves and our world. You know, it, it, the world reflects us. So we come from a balanced, appreciating place. Things around us are gonna start reflecting that back. Takes a little time for things to grow, but she's holding a flower. She's already has some appreciation. Right, she's holding within herself the appreciation and around her, look at this abundance coming in. That's how I'm all of a sudden getting that message. Oh my gosh. This is so profound. Let that freedom ring. Whatever healing you've done is leading you to new choices, new decisions, new directions, new projects, new people, new freshness in your life and go with it, go with it. It's taken everything to get here. Everything, everything. Everything, everything, the work it took to get that appreciation coming back, it's going to start being reflected to you in value, in valuable things. You're going to have really interesting work things coming in. You're going to have interesting new relationships coming in. Um, this is clearing the way. All right, so what is our journey? What in tarot can we get as messages now that we know the energy? But, oh my gosh, this is really, this energy is going to go past the week. I just want to say that right now. And we are just to keep riding it. Because things don't go poof. But this is the new energy that's coming in. Oh, all these things are coming in. Oh, yes. Okay. The first cards are flying out. Yep. Look at what we're manifesting. Look at what we're manifesting. The next one, we have tremendous moon energy coming in. That's really playing a part here. Um, I almost feel like it's manifesting things, things that were hidden before. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're heading to smoother waters. Look at this. This is the new energy that's coming in. We are the manifester. When you're the magician, you are in the physical, tapped into the divine, using everything that's in the physical, your passion, um, anything, all the tools you need in the physical, right? And what was hidden, um, I almost feel like the way to go forward in smoother waters has now been revealed to you, okay? So that's what's coming out in these tarot cards. That's what I feel is happening. We've done tremendous healing and release with this moon energy, and it's also revealing the way forward for smoother waters because um, we had two major moon events in July. So in this part, this is, we've done the clearing part, and now we're heading to the smoother waters because we released a lot, and we're learning how we can manifest the things that we actually want in our lives, and it's coming from that self-worth. It's coming from value. It's coming from true balance. It's being okay in your skin on deep levels. It's letting go of the old cycles. It's really letting go of the old cycles. It's a new freedom you probably have never felt in your life. I'm telling you, the things that would normally uh, affect you on a scale from one to 10, say it probably would have brought you to a nine, they're now like a three. Um, some things might not even get on your scales anymore. It's amazing what happens when you have grown and done the work. It's um, the, the things in the past are not gonna have the weight on you as they did before. You, they're not going to be in your path as an obstacle anymore. So you're you're free to manifest more of what you want. You're clearer. You're freer. Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. And look, at, you cannot make this up. King of Pentacles. This is the exciting energy. This, when you're the magician, let's just say you're manifesting now, right? There's nothing in your path anymore. You're moving to smoother waters. Everything's been revealed, cleansed out, and it's shown the way. It's revealing the way forward on a smoother. And you're the King of Pentacles. You're making it happen. This is what is happening. You're creating your new world right now. You are fully abundant. When you say what is appreciating and you are this king of pentacles energy, um, this is everything. That's why let freedom ring and let it reverberate, whatever that word, you know, let it, let this energy propel you forward to manifest what you want in smooth waters. Yes. And it will be appreciating. You are the king of pentacles. This is the outcome of it. When the king of pentacles has everything he wants in his physical. And uh, he can create everything in his physical. So you have that power of the magician manifesting everything you want. Linked to the divine and cre actually creating it. Being the king of it. King of creating all the abundance that you want. Uh, and the full appreciation. I mean, this is... 
this is the gateway to abundance right here. And it's because of all the work we did behind here, healing our hearts, having this new sense of balance that's cleared the way. That's what's gotten us off the wheel, heading to uh, all this abundance. Oh my gosh, this is why I was excited. Let's see messages from heaven. Let freedom ring. This freedom that we found is just creating such abundance. We are manifesting such abundance for ourselves now to take advantage of this energy. And thank God we're letting go of everything that used to be obstacles for us. You know, we let go of situations, circumstances. We're free to create what we really want to see in our world. And it's reflecting back a new sense of worth to us. That's what I really think of value. There's value. Oh, you can't make this up. Explore new ventures. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. That's spiritual support. I did another reading the other day that said we had spiritual support. It was called Divine Love and Support for July. And it said we're with you. We have such divine love and support right now to explore these new ventures, to move forward with confidence. And that was the clearing out because this new energy, when we go into, for, you know, explore new ventures, however, however it shows up in your world, we have to move forward with confidence, with newfound confidence. We can't have the same old guck in our hearts and minds stopping us and spinning us. Look, I'm naturally going in a circle like the wheel, the cycle that we play over and over in our minds and hearts. We got over that. We are the angel of balance now, moving forward with confidence. And they are with us to do this. And does this even say boat trips? Boat trips? That's so weird. They're saying they're helping us move into smoother waters. This is the boat trip we are on in energy. We're moving to smoother waters. Know this. Be confident with, confident with this. They've helped us. Spirit's moving that boat. It's a boat trip. We're with you on the boat trip moving to smoother waters. Oh, my gosh. Explore those new ventures and do it with confidence. Things are moving forward. Um, if things were paused or not moving forward, they're going to be moving forward now. And move forward confidently. Remember, you've mended your broken heart. You've mended those disappointments of the past. Let them stay in the past. You learn things from that. But they're not to replay. You know, you're not going to experience this over and over till ad nauseum. They just made you wiser. You learn something from the experience. You're not supposed to carry those scars anymore. They're moving you to be clearer, to be fresher, to have value for yourself. And, ooh, we got two. Okay. Oh, three more. <gasps> we rejoice when you find love. Love comes in unexpected ways. Yeah, things are going to be showing up in your life when you least expect it. It could come quick. It could, could come from places where you didn't even expect it could be actual love through a person. It could be love in spiritual love, universal love. Things that you want, need, enjoy could be coming at you in, in unexpected ways. Okay. Look at this. We're helping to bring a little luck. You, your way, you deserve it. What did I say? You deserve it. This has been such a long journey to get to this energy, to get to this clearing where you can move freely with no obstacles. They're bringing you luck. They, you deserve this. You so deserve this. You deserve this to go forward to the new now with confidence because of everything. And are you ready for the last one? Can't make this up. Spread your wings and fly. We're proud of you. They're proud of us. Explore. The, these are the top ones. Explore new ventures. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. Spread your wings and fly. They're so proud of you. This has been almost a metamorphosis so that we can get to this point uh, balanced enough to fly you know these, these wings have to be balanced otherwise you're never going to get off the ground right in a sense they just gave me that oh my gosh let's just end it with some guardian angels or should we get a blessing maybe we should just end it with a blessing this is such an amazing time right now um again these energies are going to go forward past the week definitely um definitely past the week this is not going to just be uh, for this one week, but this your policy ev oops, policy evidence of this. Yeah, okay, the first one is grace, and it says, in this generous world, my needs are met through many sources. My desires are fulfilled through many channels. This world is sacred, bountiful, and generous. I recognize and appreciate this abundance. I have the courage to desire my good, and I have the expectation of my good being fulfilled. You cannot make this up. The the re, the message, spirit message I posted just right before this was, um, 
free your spirit, let freedom ring. It was all about reaching for the fulfilling thought or the fulfilling, make sure moment to moment you're going for the most fulfilling. Um, recognize and appreciate this abundance. You have the courage and the desire to go forward now. They're telling you to move forward with confidence. It's a generous world. Your needs are gonna be met through many sources. Your desires are gonna be th fulfilled through many channels. Look at this, it comes in many unexpected ways. The world's a secret, bountiful, generous. I recognize and appreciate the abundance which is appreciating. And you are the king of pentacles. And you're supposed to explore new ventures and they're proud of you. You're moving to smoother waters. I mean, this is the appreciation card. The world is sacred, bountiful, generous. I recognize and appreciate this abundance. I have the courage to desire my good. And I have the expectations of my good being fulfilled. And you're standing here in this field of abundance. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. Should we get one more? I mean, everything is just appreciating right now. And um, our world and what's in our world is going to change because of this. And it's the work we did within ourselves to create this new balance, this new appreciation for ourselves, what we're doing. It's now being reflected in our world back to us. And, oh my gosh, you can't even make this up. This card stayed in my hand. It wouldn't move. My life is valuable. Breathe that in because this is at the core of us. If you picture this is in our solar plexus almost, you're coming from a sense of new self-worth and self-value and that's what's changing our world. That's giving us, oh my gosh, the balance, the new balance. It's the solar plexus to have the self-worth and self-value for yourself and then moving forward with confidence. It's this, my life is valuable. You're valuable. What you're doing is valuable. And it's almost like you're worthy of the good coming in. You're worthy of what you're going for. It's this sense of value is very important. I value my sense of history. I'm alert to the many colorful and enjoyable episodes in my own life's unfolding. This whole thing, I value my sense of history. That's the broken heart. We value it. We see the teaching, the lessons in it, and but we can heal the wound now. We don't need the wound anymore to be those walls that we have anymore to protect ourselves or play out those old stories to get anxiety or stop us from going forward confidently. Just value the sense of your history, what you've learned. You're valuable. Your life is valuable. It brought you to this point. That's what's creating this abundance. Oh my God. I love this reading. Oh my gosh. Let's get one more. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. This is all about abundance. My A gateway for blessings. You can't make this up. I celebrate the present abundance of my life. I enumerate and enjoy the many blessings which I do have and those I see now entering my life. I allow myself to count over the many dreams I have which have come true. Yep. Celebrate the present abundance of your life. This is the gateway. That's the gateway. And that's what's appreciating right now. Good, good things are coming. Good, good things and new things. And, um... They're so proud of you. You know, let's say here, spread your wings and fly. We're proud of you. It's a gateway for blessings right now. Gateway for blessings is opening right now. Oh my gosh. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.